back. It's been two weeks of vacationing in my motherland, Finland, and it was one of those vacations where everything just worked out really nicely, including the weather. The weather is very unpredictable in Finland, lots of rain. We got there, it rained the first day. After that, it was sunny every single day. First day was like 21 degrees and it just kept getting warmer and warmer and warmer. By the end of it, it was like 30 degrees, which is very warm in Finland, especially when there's no AC in people's homes. It gets a little hot. Thank you to all the cousins, the uncles, the aunts, uh, the friends, everybody who made this vacation one of the best. But this, this is becoming a, a bit of a problem. I don't, I'm starting to run out of space. I, I don't, I don't know what to do with all of this. I guess we unbox it. It's always nice getting stuff sent to you, but I don't really know what to do with all this stuff and it's really nice giving it to you guys, but that also gets a little bit expensive. For example, that gimbal that I gave away, I think it costs like $300 to ship that. So uh, at that pace, free stuff isn't so free if I'm paying $300 to ship something. Maybe I need to give some of this stuff away at like a, a meetup or something. By the way, that, that meetup we did in Finland, Really, really enjoyed that. Always fun meeting you guys behind uh, the numbers, the subscribers. And that's one of the reasons why I'm actually gonna be making this problem even worse. I got myself a UPS box, so if you, if your company or you're making some sort of product or you just wanna send a letter and say hi, I very, very much look forward to hearing from you guys. All right, let's unbox some of these. Ugh. It's a photo. Greetings, Ken. Thanks, Ken. Coffee. I don't think he got the memo. I, I don't. I don't drink coffee, but luckily Matt likes coffee. It says Foolography. It's a smartphone DSLR remote. The Unleashed is a tiny Bluetooth module that plugs into your camera. It puts complete control over your DSLR into the palm of your hand right from your smartphone. That's really cool. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. I think I need to get this knife sharpened. This is a mistake. Bebop V Micro? Whoa, these are like really, really small V mount batteries. If you don't know what this is, this is like used for cinema cameras and you can use it to, for example, uh, to light this light that I'm using right now. Thanks, Bebop. Appreciate it. These are really, really small. Is this one even smaller? Whoa, this one's even smaller. These are the smallest V-mount batteries I've ever seen. I didn't even know they make batteries this size. I assume this is gonna be the charger. And a charger for them. Usually, if you wanna have V-mount batteries, it, the, the batteries are massive, the chargers are ma massive, everything is just massive. So uh, this is really awesome that you can have a charger and V-mount battery in such a small little... Thank you. Appreciate it. This was a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, I appreciate the batteries. I don't appreciate these little things. I forget what these are called. Oh, and they sent a car. I think Kai will like this. Thank you. Quick intermission to clean. All right, and we're back. I think I know what this one is. It's it's not a vape pen, vape, vape, Vape? What, what are they even called? Vape machine? I don't even know what they're... It's not one of those. I might have to read some instructions real quick because I want to show you this to you guys. Uh, okay, the problem is there are no instructions. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some quick digging up on how to work this. Okay, I, I, think, I, I think I got this. Wish me luck. I feel like I'm doing a science project again. One or two drops inside. And I think I'm supposed to fill this up. I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, I think, I think it's set up. I just have to wait 15 minutes now. So I'm gonna get some food. I'll be back. All right, uh, one sandwich and 15 minutes later, hopefully I can uh, make this thing work now. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing's happening. Am I doing it wrong? Did I get a defective one? It's the Microfogger 2. It's supposed to be the smallest fogger hazer there is. Apparently it's not working. Maybe I have to wait a little bit. All right, the only thing I can think of is that it's not charged fully, so I'm gonna keep charging it while we're charging. If you did not know, one of the, the big little secrets of Hollywood filmmaking is that they use hazers or fog 
all of the time. It creates this really nice texture and depth to the shots because light behaves differently when there's, when there's this fog in the air and you get these really, really nice shots for example, you get those beautiful shafts of life. Have you ever seen those like God rays in movies? That is because of haze or fog. You can't get those God rays, those beams of lights without haze. And that's why this little uh, micro fogger to me is really, really interesting because the tool is a lot smaller to get that same effect. Now, I don't know how much you can fog. That's why I'm really curious to try it out, but it's not working. But pro tip, if you want that nice atmosphere in your lighting and, and just make things a little bit softer, it kind of creates, it's not shallow depth of field, but it, it creates that same sort of, of look because the further away something is in the shot, the more haze will be there versus when you're close, there's only a little bit of haze in between the camera and, and your subject. Am I making any sense? Anyways, use haze if you want some really, really cinematic footage. Um, I'm just waiting here, I guess. All right, let's, let's give it another go. If it doesn't work, I clearly don't know how to use this or this one's defective. Uh, I think this one might be defective. I followed through with all of the instructions, done everything, and it's still not working. That's a bummer because I was really, really hoping to make some haze in here, but okay, let's get on with the unboxing. Let's work on the other boxes. Thank you, Microfogger, for sending me um, this. Let me know if I'm using it wrong. <laughs> the, the rest of these boxes are a little bit bigger, so this might be tricky. Oh my gosh. More, more camera backpacks. I really don't need any more camera backpacks. These are from Nomadic. Another one. Ooh, another toiletry bag. Again, I, d I don't, I don't need these, but I appreciate them very much. Ooh, this one's really nice though. All right, let's, let's quickly check out what these camera bags are like. All right, we got laptop, sleeve, slot, whatever that's called, front pouch, bunch of little pouches here. That's cool. Apparently it extends and also opens from the middle. Oh. I get it. I think this is for sunglasses, I assume. Some straps, a little packing cube. Very high quality backpack. I guess this one's not specifically meant for cameras. Could be wrong. And this is their travel backpack. This other one was, I don't know, another backpack. This appears to have a whole bunch of different pockets everywhere. Very interesting design, very high quality. Thank you, Nomadic, for sending these bags. I don't need them, but I appreciate them. This is a very mysterious box. I have no idea what this is. It's a soft box. Kind of like this one that I'm using. Easiest soft box to set up, mount, modify, gel, period. I feel like I should probably read some instructions, but I think I, I think that's it. I think I just set it up. Very easy softbox to work. I guess I still have to put, you know, the, the stuff here, but yeah, that's a very, very easy softbox to set up. Thank you, mag mod for the mag box, softbox. Much appreciated. Ooh, I know what this is. One wheel stuff. Speaking of one wheels, I got my one wheel back and I couldn't be happier. I really, really miss this thing. Whoop. I don't recommend this in the office. <laughs> All right, let's see what they said. Okay, first thing is a Sure Stance Pro. I think this is, yeah, this is like you can change the back stance so it has a little bit more of a concave, I believe, a little bit more uh, a grip. Very excited to try these out. Thank you, One Wheel. Down goes Microfogger. Still not working. I was really hoping this thing would work. One Wheel t-shirt. Thank you. Hoodie. It's summer, but thank you. Oh, this is a must. I don't know how I've been living without this. This is meant to go in the car and it keeps the One Wheel from rolling around. If you've ever owned a One Wheel and you put it in a car, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It just rolls around, bangs onto everything. This is meant to stop that. Bumpers. Whoa, these are bright. Orange bumpers. 
Thank you. Another t-shirt. Rails. Since Peter's moving out, he had these stands for the one wheel. Now I got my own. More of these foot pads and a mystery box. Oh, it's another stand. In case you wanted to send me the pint. Is that why you sent me this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as a hint that you guys wanna send me a pint. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, One Wheel. You guys are the best. Now we have some really big boxes. Ugh. I'll save the really big ones for last. Let's deal with this one first. Not at all what I was expecting. A paddle, a pump. One second. Way too hot. It's a stand-up paddle board. This thing's huge. Wow. Thank you, Goose Hill. Thank you, Goose Hill, for the stand-up paddleboard. I will take this to the cottage. It will be well used. Matt, I got a, I got a stand-up paddleboard. I think it's too big for the office, though. I guess you're gonna need some water. <laughs> we should take it out sometime. Yeah. Also, good. good to see you on the vlog. You've been holding down the fort. Yep. Coffee and editing. With a new new big desk. Oh yeah. <laughs> a new big stand-up paddleboard. Alright, alright. Thank you, Goose Hill. That's probably the most random package I've ever gotten sent, but also one of the best. I know I'm gonna really, really enjoy that thing. Okay, we have two more big boxes. I think they might be the same thing, but there's two really big boxes. I think these are like gaming chairs, computer chairs from Clutch, I think that's the company. Thank you. I really, really don't have time to set these up right now, but I very much appreciate them. I'll let Matt set up his and uh, do a full review on, on the Clutch uh, gaming computer chair. And again, the office is a absolute mess. I'm glad Peter is not stopping by today because uh, he would probably not be happy. Actually, well, really, he's kind of moved out. He's, he's still got some stuff here, but he's pretty much out. Kind of lonely. Hmm, yeah, kind of lonely. I feel like I'm about to hike to like Vietnam or something. That's the stand-up paddleboard. Came with a backpack. I'm already exhausted. Oh man, this thing's huge. It's funny, traveling's one of those things where it's really tiring and exhausting, especially the flying part. If you've ever traveled with a two-year-old, you know how tough it can be. Kai literally screamed from the top of his lungs for like 15, 20 minutes, doing one of those like full body flexes, you know, like every time you try to hold him. Yeah, that was not fun, but at the end of the day, it's always worth it to travel. So if you can save up some money and travel somewhere, anywhere, I highly recommend that you do it. It's funny, before I used to think that traveling was a waste of money. I thought that it was smarter to use your money on, on you know, a, a camera or laptop or something tangible that you're gonna use for a long period of time. It felt like traveling was just spending money and throwing it into thin air. It kind of felt like a waste, like, like a firework, you know? It's nice, but it's just like a waste of money. Nowadays, I totally disagree with that, and I think it's fully worth it to spend money and time on traveling. You get different perspectives on life, you meet different people, you see different places. It is very, very, very much worth it. Even if it's just like to the next town or something, just get out of your, your little comfort circle bubble. Man, I'm sweating. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff in the car. I have honestly missed you guys. It was weird, we did 26 days straight together. We spent so much time together and then we didn't hang out at all for like two weeks. So I've really missed you guys. All right, I think it's time for me to say goodnight and I will see you tomorrow, I think. All right, vlog end. Kai and Princess are sleeping, but I just wanted to show you guys our, our candy stash. We bought over $200 worth of chocolates and candies. This has salt and licorice in this chocolate.